This is your CBS 46 News update. Good morning, I'm Gravier Denza. Several people are without a home after an apartment fire in Gwinnett County. It happened just before 1.30 in the overnight hours at the summit at Dawson Apartments in Norcross. The flames badly damaged four apartments and 30 people are now looking for a new home. This morning, one dog is also missing, but everybody else was able to get out okay. No injuries were reported. It's still not clear how the fire started. Breaking news, a one-year-old baby is in critical condition after being shot in the head. Police tell us they got a call about 1115 last night from Harwell Road on the west side of Atlanta. There were several adults apparently there when this happened. The child was rushed to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Eggleston. He underwent surgery in the overnight hours and right now we're working to get the baby's latest condition. North Georgia is bracing for the possibility of nasty winter weather this weekend. The Georgia Department of Transportation says it's ready to answer the call in the event we see winter weather. It's got more than 50,000 tons of salt on hand and more than 40 snow removal trucks ready to roll as early as Friday. The state's hoping to avoid another Snowmageddon disaster. The Beckett Buckhead City Committee continues to fight for independence from the city of Atlanta, but Atlanta's mayor Andre Dickens is trying to keep the two together and is announcing a new police precinct to help combat crime. Mayor Dickens, House representatives and educators all met yesterday about this new precinct. 24 officers will staff the precinct to focus on traffic so that other crews could tackle crime. Today, Clayton County is going to distribute 10,000 at home COVID tests. You can pick one up from three different locations. It's the Southern Crescent Stadium in Riverdale, Terra Stadium in Jonesboro and the 12 Oaks Stadium in Hampton. Those kits will be available on a first come first serve basis starting at nine. In Cobb County, commissioners have approved an emergency purchase of 60,000 at home kits. Officials say they're hoping to get that order by the end of the week and they're hoping to distribute those kits on Monday. Now let's get the latest on the weather, including what we might expect this weekend from Ella. Yeah, this weekend is going to look a lot different than today. Today is going to be beautiful. We start with clouds, we'll end with sunshine. It'll be breezy, but mild highs in the mid to upper 50s this afternoon. Saturday does look dry through the day. If you go into the dogs parade, make sure you drive home after the game. Get where you need to be by Saturday night because rain moves in after 7 p.m. on Saturday and transitions to freezing rain and then to snow throughout the day on Sunday. There's a big question to how many inches of snow we're going to get. I can tell you it's not going to be a winter wonderland in Metro. Looks like downtown could get up to half an inch of rain. Most of Metro between one to three inches. The only area that will see significant snowfall will be the mountains where six to 12 inches of snow is expected. The bigger concern is for ice. We could get a quarter of an inch of ice, especially across East Georgia, blanketing the roadways that could cause travel trouble, power outages as well. It's just going to be a nasty mess on Sunday. We'll have a lot more information in the coming days so you'll want to check back for updates. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.